Hi guys, I'm Matt Torx the Seder, and most of you know that Fallout 4 is an RPG game developed by Bethesda and set in a post-apocalyptic world, and loved by many. And eight years after its release, the game still contains glitches and exploits galore. So I've come up with a list of the best Fallout 4 exploits that still work. Now some of you may know the most popular video on my channel is me discussing the best Fallout exploits in 2021. So in addition to shining light on some new ones, I'll be testing all of my previous exploits to see if they work. So anyway, let's get into the video. Alright, so glitch number one is a glitch that you could do as soon as you get out of Vault 11. Now what you're going to want to do is head to the workshop in Sanctuary Hills. So what you're going to want to do is take the resource that you plan on duplicating, put it on the ground, and try to mash store and scrap at the exact same time. Now, the timing is pretty specific, but if you get it right, you should see two menus at the same time. Now, after taking the steps at both menus, you can go into your workshop, and when we go into it right here, we will have an adhesive as well as our duct tape right there. And for glitch number two, we are coming to the Nuka World DLC and the Starport Nuka. Now, as you can see, in that glass case right there is one of the best power armor sets in the game, the Nuka Cola Quantum Armor. Now, normally, in order to get this, you need a to do a tedious set of fetch quests, but there is an easier way to do this. So, what you're going to want to do is bring an empty set of power armor to this area in the map, get into third person and look to the left right as you dismount and make and try and spam your way back into your power armor and if you do it correctly you'll see your character glitch through the set of power armor like being shown here and you will warp through this set of glass and then the armor is yours and in order to get out of this set of glass you either fast travel away or perform the same exact glitch that we just did Alright guys, this glitch is one of my favorites from the original video that I made, and for it you only need three things, a fat man, a pipe pistol, and then a fat man merv launcher attachment that is not currently put on your fat man. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is go to any weapons workbench with your fat man and your pipe pistol. Now for the fat man, you're going to press scrap and modify at the exact same time. Now the timing is specific, like with a lot of these glitches. But if the glitch works right, you should see the Fat Man Scrap menu at the same time as its modify. Alright, so when you scrap your Fat Man like so, you're going to see that we are in the menu for the pipe pistol, but our modifications are the Fat Man's weapons. So when we stick the Merv Launcher on the pipe pistol like this, we now have a ridiculously overpowered weapon of a pipe pistol that shoots out nukes while still only taking pipe ammo. Alright, so glitch number four is probably the simplest on this list. Now, if your settlement that you are running is running out of storage space from all the building you are doing, all you need to do is drop a load of weapons on the floor and pick them up and store them in your workshop one by one. Now for some reason the game counts this as you scrapping buildings every time that you store it so it reduces the size of your settlement without you actually having to take anything away from it. Now this glitch is a basic crafting exploit glitch and can be done to get yourself a better modifier on anything that you're crafting than what you have the materials for. Now I'm doing this for my set of power armor but you could do this for anything. So what you want to do is go to any sort of section, I'm using the paint, go to the highest thing that you can craft and then right as you press the craft button you need to scroll down as soon as you do it and it will put you on that section 
of what you want to craft, but it'll still be showing up as what you can afford to craft. And by pressing craft, we get the desired item without spending the necessary materials. All right, and for the sixth and final glitch, we are doing the Automatron Infinite EXP glitch. So for this glitch, you are going to need to progress to the point in the Automatron DLC story to where you need to build the robot's workbench. Now what you're going to do is take your current follower and put them directly next to the workbench. And when you approach them, you're going to press trade. But before you get into the trade menu, you're going to also get onto the crafting robot bench. Then you need to select your robot and pick any random part to put on this robot. Now the game is going to glitch and put you in both menus at the same exact time. And by switching items back and forth between you and your companion, the game is going to think that you are repeatedly building these robot heads. And it's going to give you experience for each time that you do it. Alright, and as you guys can see, after just moving the inventory items back and forth a couple times between me and Nick, I have gained two levels. And you can do this as much as you need to, as long as you have the time to just move the items back and forth. Alright guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Make sure to like if you enjoyed this video, and let me know any glitches that I missed. And I'll see you guys in the next video.